Yesterday, Kim Kardashian made a visit to the White House for a one-on-one -on -one meeting with President Trump. And I know, I know that there's some of you thinking, I can't believe this reality show moron is in the Oval Office, but don't forget, he was elected by the American people. <laughs> so show some respect. And you know, I, I don't know about you, but whenever I see a photo of someone next to Donald Trump in the Oval Office, I always play this little game in my head where I try to decide if the other person would be a better president than him. <laughs> and pretty much every single time, the answer is yes. Like in this one, yes. <laughs> yeah. Or in that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one, and this one over here, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, because at least they're not allowed on Twitter yet. Yeah, it would work. And honestly, I'm, I'm not surprised to see Kim Kardashian meeting with Donald Trump. These two have so much in common. They're both reality stars. They're both big on social media. Kanye loves both of them. Uh, <laughs> they both believe in employing everyone in their family, no matter how useless they are. <laughs> so it makes sense. Kim Kardashian West met with President Trump yesterday. And it turns out she was there for something legit. Kim Kardashian at the White House for reasons you may not expect. The reality star lobbying for a pardon for a convicted drug trafficker and great-grandmother whose cause has caught her eye. After 21 years in a federal prison on drug charges, Kim Kardashian wants President Trump to grant 62-year-old great-grandmother Alice Marie Johnson a pardon. Kardashian took up Johnson's cause months ago. She spent over two decades behind bars. I think that she really deserves a second chance at life. Weirdest episode of the Kardashians ever. <laughs> and now, while many people applauded Kim for lobbying the president on behalf of an incarcerated great-grandmother, not everyone was happy to see her in the Oval Office. The fact that Kim Kardashian is here at the White House today, <laughs> and what planet that is uh, anything resembling normal, because it's not. Uh, she shouldn't be here talking about prison reform. It's very nice that she is here, but that, that's not a serious thing to, to have happened here at the White House. Really? She shouldn't be here? You think Kim Kardashian brings down Donald Trump's Oval Office? Is that what you think? <laughs> what could she do to make him worse than he already is? What could she do? Like, if anything, I want her to stay there longer. She could probably teach Donald Trump a thing or two about diplomacy. Like, hopefully she could be like, like, you should, like, treat China the same way that we treat black China. Because <laughs> she's an outsider. No one trusts her, but we've learned to coexist. <laughs> now, Kim... Kim was at the White House. Uh, to discuss the release of one specific person. But whether she planned it or not, her visit has put a spotlight on harsh sentences for drug crimes. You know, in the same way her sex tape put a spotlight on Ray J's music career. <laughs> Another terrible thing that many people didn't know existed. <laughs> so, the big question is, did Kim Kardashian successfully convince Trump to use his pardon powers? And the answer is yes. Although, as always with any Kardashian story, there's a big but. President Trump announcing today that he will pardon conservative commentator and filmmaker Dinesh D'Souza. We'll be giving a full pardon to Dinesh D'Souza today. He was treated very unfairly by our government. D'Souza did plead guilty to these violating these federal campaign finance laws back in 2014. He's perhaps best known as a provocateur who regularly pushes right-wing conspiracy theories and spews racist commentary. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I did not see that coming. After his meeting with Kim, President Trump decided to ignore her and instead pardon a right-wing troll who is known for saying things like, Obama is a gay Muslim, black people are thugs, uh, the Charlottesville rally was staged. So basically, Kim Kardashian said, uh, can you pardon a black grandmother? And Trump said, no, but I can pardon a brown grand wizard. Is that good enough? Yeah. <laughs> and, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying being an asshole is a reason enough not to pardon someone. What I am saying is that maybe Trump pardoned D'Souza because he is an asshole. Yeah, because Trump doesn't care about sentencing reform or government overreach. All he cares about is doing favors for people who he likes. So, Kim Kardashian, if you really want to get a pardon for your cocaine grandma, forget the meetings. Just tell her to start sending out racist Obama tweets and she'll be out in a week.